A few years ago, I walked into a yoga studio and began to prepare the room to teach. I was folding blankets and organizing the blocks and getting my music ready to play for when the class started. It's one of my favorite times setting up the space before the students arrive. And I use it not only to organize the room, but to declutter my thoughts and clear my brain of anything that came before. I clean up the room and I clean up my brain and heart at the same time. And as I was folding the blankets, I saw a student I've known for years and she smiled at me. I went a little bit closer to her and noticed that she looked exhausted. I asked her how she'd been, thinking that it had been a while since she'd been in my class. And I saw something in her eyes that I couldn't place, and my intuition told me to stop organizing the room and to kneel down in front of her. I said again, how are you? And she looked at me and said, do you want the ground truth or the official truth? I told her I didn't really know the difference. And she explained that the official truth is the sound bite that is polished and edited and ready for airing to the public. The ground truth, on the other hand, is what is actually happening on the ground in the heart of the action. It's the unpolished, potentially uglier version and the one that's not generally ready for public consumption. I was surprised that anybody would want anything else. But I told her that I always wanted the ground truth. And then I took a deep breath to settle my body so I could hold her story. And she said, it is so incredibly hard right now just to get out of bed. My family is falling apart in foundational ways and I'm at the center of that turmoil. Everybody is angry at me and my shame level is rocket high. I listened and she went on with the details of a family story that was complex and sad and she just sat there on her yoga mat and told me everything I didn't rush to respond because there was little to say and I knew it was more important to hold space for her rather than respond with a potential solution when she was finished with her story she seemed really tired but her eyes looked more clear just from telling a portion of her inner life. I held her gaze to make sure that she was finished. She seemed ready to practice, and I understood all that it had taken for her to have shown up with her yoga mat that morning, and also the importance of her getting to tell her story. I learned more from her that day about the ground truth than I could have ever taught her in a yoga class. The ground truth is collected on location. It is our direct experience reported without edits. without making it pretty, without making it comfortable for other people, and without making it comfortable for ourselves. When we report the ground truth, we tell it from direct observation without interference. And I really, really think we could use more of that these days, don't you think? Here is what I know today from my personal place of truth. The ground truth is the most powerful thing that we have, and when we are offered the space to tell that truth, our healing can accelerate.